Hello everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at the sign of Taurus. Before we get into your reading, I just wanna take the time to say thank you to those of you who email me. Thank you for your comments. I really appreciate all of that. I'm not able to respond to everyone because it is a lot. However, it does not go unnoticed. So I wanna thank you for your time and thank you for sharing your talents. Okay, let's get right into what Taurus needs to know. Spirit, what do you need Taurus to know at this time? The Three of Cups energy, all right? So this is coming together, getting along, unity, celebration, collaboration, all right? So tell me more. Spirit, talk to me about the Three of Cups for Taurus. What is the Three of Cups? Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's like there's something you're sad about and you shouldn't be sad about it. That's what I'm getting, okay? Because it's gonna work out. It's like you're really stressed out about something. I don't know what that is. Obviously, it's different for all of you. Seven of Pentacles, you're really reflecting on whatever this is, but it's not as bad as you think it is is what I'm getting here because you're going to be overcoming this obstacle with the three of cups. There is this energy of let's celebrate, you know, something goes in your favor is what I'm getting here. So I'm being told to let you know that you can't worry about something. You just don't worry about it. It's like the guides got you. St. Jude got you. All right, so make sure that you keep your spirits uplifted, you know, uplift yourself. You know what to do to make yourself feel better, right? For some of you, it's music. For others of you, it's working out. You know, I would definitely recommend working out, okay, because that's going to give you that extra boost, right, when it comes to your dopamine, and, and your endorphins. So just exercise. You don't have to run, you could walk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like go for a walk around the block, come back. You'll feel better, all right? Um, let's see what else we have here. Tell me more for Taurus. Tell me more. The Queen of Wands energy, yeah. It's like you progressively start to feel better. That's what I like about this. It's like you go from the seven of pentacles, something that you're reflecting on, to the queen of wands. All of, you know what I mean? This is, this is an energy of like the highest confidence. <laughs> so you go from this level of pity. There's something that you shouldn't worry about anymore is what I'm getting here because it's going to be taken care of, okay? It, it'll get cleared out. It'll get cleared up. Sometimes this is all meant to distract you. Don't let it. Don't let it. You know better anyways. You know way better because you're intuitive. We talk about this. You're a spiritual energy right? Queen of Wands, though, that's where you're headed. You're headed to this, this passionate, fiery, enthusiastic, brave type of energy where you are not going to let anybody or any situation bring your spirits low, you know? I don't see you doing that. It doesn't matter what you go through, you're going to face whatever you have to face. And it's like you're a warrior doing that. Okay, so very nice energy. Now, tell me more. Six of Cups. Past person. Talk to me about the Six of Cups. Eight of Swords. I know you want to help this person, but I don't know if 
they're going to allow you to help them. Somebody needs help. There's someone around you that continues to be in this Eight of Swords. But will they allow you to help them? Will they? Because I feel like they're not giving anyone access to them. And this is the person that you need to pray for because they're doing it to themselves. We constantly see this energy come out in your readings and I don't feel like it's you. I'm sorry, I just don't feel like this is you. Because you're spiritual, you pray, you do what you gotta do to make yourself feel better because you, you look for guidance. You talk to people. You look for the light. There's someone around you that needs light, but it's like they don't know how to find it or they're embarrassed even. This person is embarrassed, okay? It's like they're ashamed of something that they did. And again, it's not always a lover. This could be somebody, a family member, you know, a coworker. So keep that in mind, right? Let's find out more. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords energy. See, the thing is, is that I don't see you going out of your way. If this person doesn't want to help themselves, I don't see you. I mean, I see you with the desire to help with the Queen of Swords. It's like you're willing to assist this person. But they're blindfolded, tied up. This person is tied up to something else. What is that in their life? Is that a habit? Is that a person? Is that a way of thinking? Are they codependent? Because the last thing any of us want to do is depend on someone else's energy for us to be happy. Let's see. Tell me more. The Six of Pentacles. There's potential. Eventually, this closed off person, I feel like they're going to open up. Tell me more. Tell me more. King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're supplying this person in some way with what they need to evolve. Let's put it like that. You're going to help this person with their evolution, whomever they are, because you're coming out in the upright, right? King of Pentacles energy. Tell me more. Four of Swords. A lot of prayer for this person, whomever they are. Because you know who it is. Four of Swords, Eight of Swords. Just pray because they can't stay in this energy. It's not healthy. It's not. And it's like you're trying to get through to somebody, but it's it, you feel blocked off. I feel like this person is more stubborn than they say that you are, Taurus. Let me find out more about this person. Why are they doing this? Why are they just in this isolation mode here? Talk to me. Why are they doing this? 
because of the chariot. So it's like, they may be trying to move on or move away or there's something that has to do with movement here. They can't move on from something. They shouldn't be trying to make any moves if they're not healthy because I don't feel their energy being one that is in a good spirit right now. If you're not in a good spirit, how are you going to make moves? I don't know what's up with them. They're trying to move on. They can't move on. Or they're trying to move and they can't move. Clarify the chariot. Judgment. I feel like they think about resurrection. They think about bringing something back. It's like they're not supposed to be moving in a certain direction or at a certain pace, and they know it. This person is fighting their ego, whomever they are. They know it. But it's like they don't want to admit that you were right. See, you were right about something, Taurus. They don't want to admit that to you. The Knight of Cups, okay. Talk to me about this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles. You see, I feel like eventually this person gives in to you. I don't feel you putting the pressure on them, like, you know, hounding them about what's going on with them. I don't feel you doing that. I actually, I see you backing away because at this point, you feel like you can't change their mind. So let them sit in that, right? But you're still concerned because you care for this person and you love this person. Some of you are in love, you know? They eventually make their way to the Ace of Pentacles is what I'm getting here. That's what I see. They make their way to you. It's like you're a big deal for this person. Even if they communicate or not, you feel the vibes. You know the vibes. They don't have to say anything. You already know what's up, you know. Hmm, very interesting. Somebody can't move on. That seems to be the theme. They can't move on. They can't keep going down a certain path. It needs to stop. But you're not going to sit there and be anybody's mommy, right? You already raised your kids or you're in that process. Like you don't got that time, you know? So that's why I feel like you're not going to push. You're watching what's happening. It's like you warned somebody. You told them. They didn't listen. They're still not listening. But somewhere down the line, they circle back to you. Is what I'm getting. They circle back. I feel like you're going to talk to this person. And you're going to listen more than anything because there's nothing else you have to say when it comes to, you know what I mean, their situation. You've already told them and you already warned them and you already expressed how you felt. So just trust me. They are going to double back. They're going to be back. They can't move on. Clearly. They need to be honest with themselves. They can't move on, but the reason why they can't move on, it's not the time to, to um, 
they can't even do this right now. Even if they try, that's what I'm saying. Like they can't, they can't make moves. They can't be who they wanna be. They're not able to have access to what it is that they really want. It's a very troubling energy. I don't ever want to be in that energy where I can't love who I want to love, be with who I want to be with, eat the ice cream I want to eat. You feel what I'm saying? Like, no one's going to tell me that I can't. If I want to get in the car, I want to go visit somebody. No, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. This person can't go right now. They're stuck terrible energy to be in like if this person is in a relationship and they feel like that why are they in a relationship love is not about feeling like a prisoner You're supposed to feel free hmm. all right so Outcome, Spirit, please talk to me about the outcome here. Hmm. Interesting. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse and then the Knight of Swords. So this just tells me that for some of y'all, like this person is gonna try to talk to you and then you're not gonna wanna talk to this person. I feel like the majority of you will, others of you are just gonna be like, no, I've, I've tried so many times to tell you, you didn't listen because you were stuck in your ego somewhere. Right? You can love and love and love and love, but Taurus, <laughs> when Taurus decides that they're just not anymore, then there was an expiration date. Eventually, there will be that expiration date. It's very important for this person to understand that with you, not all of you will participate in the future. If someone is taking you for granted, they're going to regret it. They're gonna regret it, is what I'm feeling. All right, that's what I have for you, Taurus. I wanna thank you so much for watching, to book your private session, all of that info is below. Take care.